So returning to this example, um, there are some other uh, important features about how documents are interpreted that I want to cover. First is that LaTeX is not white space sensitive. If I put uh, three um, spaces here, what would get rendered by um, LaTeX is exactly the same as if I put one space. LaTeX ignores spaces and says, you know what? I'm going to decide how to render this document and where to put white space. And by default, I'm going to ignore all the choices you've made about white space. This is actually pretty wonderful. It means those people that render documents by putting two spaces after a period um, can be pleased and it will look the same as if you put one space after a period. We no longer exist in a world where typewriters uh, abound. Um, the idea that a little bit of extra white space be put after a period is something that LaTeX does naturally, whether or not you've actually typed a space there. Another thing is that LaTeX doesn't really um, care about uh, new lines. So if I put a new line here, it doesn't matter if I have spaces or not, and remember it doesn't care about the number of spaces we have, it is going to render this the same. It looks exactly the same as when it was all on one line. Well, what if you really want a new line? Well, there are ways to tell it to typeset a new line, but what I think the question really is, what I think the question really is, is not when do you want a new line, but when do you want a new paragraph? So here I'm gonna bring in um, a little package uh, that is just for demonstration purposes, the lorem ipsum package and it will um, generate text that will help me fill out paragraphs to demonstrate where paragraphs begin and end. So I've just used a macro, use package, that brings in an external package name called the lipsum package, and I use the use package macro outside of the document um, early on so that I can then use it later on. So it provides a macro called lipsum, and uh, this, I believe is the right syntax to tell the lipsum package to spit out the first paragraph of the lorem ipsum text. And so if I were to open up paper.txt, we would see, hello, this is a simple document, and then the first paragraph of lorem ipsum text. And we can now get a sense of the default geometry of this page. Using the style file, it apparently is providing margins of this size, um, it is indenting paragraphs, etc. So what if I actually want a paragraph? Um, to define a new paragraph, I do two new lines. And you can see two new lines told it it was the beginning of a paragraph. The choice that this paragraph is indented is not my choice. That again is the style file. Um, if you are using a style file for a journal that doesn't want the paragraphs to be indented, then it would be their job to have defined the style file so that new paragraphs are not indented. Um, as the writer, I just think structurally about, oh, I need to start a new paragraph here, so I need two new lines, or, you know, three or four new lines. If I wanted to combine these, I would erase them. Um, some people, as a result of the white space agnostic nature of LaTeX, uh, write in a way where um, they put new thoughts on new lines. This is This helps editing in some ways because you can comment things out. 
comments in LaTeX are achieved with uh, percent signs. So now this this is another thought sentence has been removed and will not appear in the rendered output. You can see something already happening with LaTeX that's very interesting in this output and I'll zoom in. You'll notice that in order to get the page fully used, this style decides that the paragraphs are justified. That isn't true in all styles, but in this style it's fully justified uh, from margin to margin. And so LaTeX has decided to um, add white space in order to remove the ragged edges. And it has um, opportunistically inserted a little extra white space in order to lengthen the line. It does this in support of the aesthetic rules to try to keep things justified as defined by this style. This is something you'll see uh, throughout LaTeX that by default it has a set of aesthetic rules that try to make the page more beautiful. It tries to eliminate orphan, orphans and widows. It tries to add space in order to um, make the line fully justified if it is in a mode that is trying to be justified. Um, it tries to hyphenate opportunistically in order to make the line fill out the page beautifully. All of these are things that we are not supposed to worry about really. We are supposed to be worried on the technical content of the paper, not how it appears on the page.